Hey everybody, I got a treat for everybody today. We're going back to the land of DOS to present Lucasfilm's presentation, LucasArts Games, The Secret of Monkey Island. The first in a series of many starring Guybrush Threepwood as the pirate and the ghost pirate LeChuck as himself. We open the story as the delightful Guybrush Threepwood wandering through the outskirts of a village. He talks with the the blind observer. Who seems to have a lot of misconception about his last name, Threepwood. Who looks more like a flooring inspector than a pirate. Now, this is the typical description of a wannabe pirate who will do anything and everything that he can possibly do in order to become a pirate. He must go through the three trials in which he will meet up with several pirates who will guide him in the right direction. You start off right here at the wharf. Now, this game requires the, uh, the verb senses to use, to push, to pull, to talk to, to pick up, to look at, give, open and close. Those are all your commands. This is your inventory. So if you want to test this out, and fortunately when you hold your mouse over something, it's automatically highlighted down here, or you can do it manually like we used to do. Walk to the poster, you got it. Now, look at the poster. And now walk to the edge of the wharf here. Now there's the scum bar. So the man said they were in here, so let's open the door. You can right click on your mouse to get it to do typically what you need to do to a door, and that's automatically assumed you're going to walk into a door. Now we got several pirates in here, look at that. But the pirates we need are right back here. Those are the three pirates that we mean to talk to. And right click on them and you'll automatically talk to them. And you get to select your dialogues. I want to be a pirate. Yes, a pirate loves his grog. Dun dun dun! Suggesting treasure hunting. Swordplay, thievery, treasure huntery. Sounds simple enough. Well, you, you can learn all about this stuff, but that's what I'm here for, so we'll just be running along now. Now, what we're going to do is walk to the fireplace and look at it and feel how cozy it is. We're going to wait here until that kitchen door opens and the cook comes out. So 
so let's watch. Since when does Let's Play become Let's Watch? In moments such as these. And we're just going to wait right here. That cook will come out eventually. We just don't know yet. He comes out at random times. There he goes. And when he's far enough away out of sight, go into the kitchen. He'll stay out. Long enough to do what you got to do. While you're here, grab the chunk of meat. You look at it by right-clicking it, so you're going to need to click Take or pick up. Pick up hunk of meat, pick up the pot, and let's go outside. Open the door. Now we're gonna try to get that fish, but that bird's gonna peck your hand if you try. So, we gotta get that bird away from there. One hit, two hits, three hits. Wait for him to land first. Now, go over and pick up the fish. Nope, too late. You gotta walk to the board again and do that again. Pick up the fish. There you go. Now leave. You can actually take and put this hunk of meat in the stew pot, but let's do that later. Now you can talk to the rest of these people if you want to. But it's not really important. They have nothing important to tell us in our adventure of becoming a pirate. They just serve with more annoyance than anything. And yes, this does have a side storyline. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate Lechuk's ship lies anchored in a river of lava. This is the first PC game I've ever seen that used the word hell in it. This is going back to where FCC had their hand in video games and the PMRC was still active. Problem? What possible problems could there be? Don't underestimate the amateurs. But that's okay. Whatever they can dish out at us, at being the tough pirate wannabe that we are, we can suffer through it all. Now we walked under the archway, and here we are on the other side into the town. Now we need to talk to this guy here. So let's right-click it to talk to him. Do you have a cousin named Sven? Now the key the the uh, keyword here is no but I once had a barber named Dominique. No he's not flashing you he's showing you what he has for sale. So now you have to find out how to get 100 pieces of eight, which is the currency on Melee Island. I don't have enough money, tell him. Bad for business. All right, so now I'm going to come over this way. And we can earn our first piece of eight right here. So let's talk to these men of lower moral fiber, or pirates. And you can pretty much say anything to these guys.
they have a sense of humor. How come you're on the street corner, not on a ship, looking, looting, pillaging, and sacking, and that kind of thing? Well, pirating hasn't been panned out so well for us. It's kind of sad when the pirating market fails. Now you've depressed us. Wah. So talk to them again. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? That's what you need to get finally get to. And then they look at each other. They don't really have maps, it's just the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. My mistake, you get two of them, not just one. Now you don't have to talk to these guys anymore, so just be running along now, because time is, in fact, money. Your next stop is right over here in this door. This is where the voodoo woman lives. So come on in and take a look around. Look at the baskets. You don't want to know what's in those baskets. You don't want to know who that once was. He doesn't want to touch any of it. Rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Well, we'll find one. Pick that up. And various voodoo knickknacks here. Now we're going to walk over to this side and... Oh my god! How long have you been here? Just introduce yourself. She'll already know who you are. Nose hair? No. How can you confuse nose hair with threepwood? This is the type of twisted sense of humor we're up against. Now, so get her to read your palm. Tell me everything that's going to happen to me. Just like a pirate wannabe, we want to know what we're running into. Ooh, nice trick. There's a lot of gross things in here. But not too terribly gross. It's all out of clean fun. She sure knows how to make a dramatic exit. And that's what we must do. Make an exit, not as dramatic. 
So now let's go down to the archway underneath the clock that always reads 10 o'clock. It's still 10 o'clock. Seems like it's always 10 o'clock on this island. It is the 10 o'clock melee island where the time stands still at 10. Either that or somebody just has not fixed the clock yet. Let's open this door and see what's inside. So a regular curio shop. Look at the sign. Ring bell for service. Well, we don't really need to be in here just yet. That's okay, because we don't have enough enough pieces of eight. Now, there's somebody in the hallway over here. And then there's the door to the church. Nothing happening here, and nothing will be happening for the most of the game. And over here is the jail. And you got a prisoner in there already. So talk to him. You might get to know him. Halitosis. Yeah. So halitosis is one of his main concerns. Talk to Death Breath? No thanks. Well, then you might probably need to find him some breath mints. Yes, you are a pirate looking to give breath mints to a prisoner. This is how twisted this game is. And you've got to have that style of humor, because if you do not, then you won't understand long enough to be interested to play the game. This is the governor's mansion, but you won't be able to get past these w deadly piranha poodles. Now, we're here a bit early, so... Let's venture out and to see the rest of Melee Island. Because this is just the town of Melee. Or does that guy really want me to come over there? Why, you're the one who called me here. So, kind of play dumb and say, did you hear something back here, too? And typical answer, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. See, nobody can get his last name right. I'm the sheriff around here, Sheriff Fester Shine Top. What could be safer than Melee Island? Oh well. Keep on a walking. Oops, get out of there. Don't need that DOS prompt up in my way. Now let's go and get an overview of Melee Island and see if we can't earn us some extra pieces of eight. Now, we have not even yet begun to venture onto our trials, so we will leave the scum bar alone for the moment and walk all the way to the end of the wharf. Back the way you came. Back to the overlook. Climbing up the cliffside. And you don't need to talk to him anymore because he is oblivious to everything that we're doing. And he's even oblivious to his own surroundings. Now once you leave Melee Village, you get this overview of Melee Island. You can move your mouse over certain key points. There's a clearing there, there's an island. Lights and house. Plus there's a fork, so what do you say we go to the fork first? Because it's closest. Just click it and you'll show up there. Okay, we'll look and see. This is the maze. And in order to get through this maze, we will need a map. So let's bypass this for now and go right over to the clearing. And here we are. 
Oh, look, there's a circus in town. Looks like somebody already beat the pirates of, or the men of lower moral fiber to their job. So let's walk in and see if we can help these guys out. Maybe they can give us some pieces of eight. Looks like we caught them in the middle of a conversation. What can they be talking about? Cleaning up the circus tents? Washing the elephants' butts? Feeding the monkeys their bananas? Oh, they're talking about getting in the cannon. Even worse. So now they start insulting one another. And you come in, clearing your throat. You can say anything, they'll rush right over to you. None of them want to get shot out of a cannon. They will try to convince you to do so. It's not dangerous. The Flabulous Flying Fettuccine Brothers. Yeah, being shot from a cannon, it sounds real safe to me. Ask him how much you'll pay. I want to know how much I'm getting. Wow, 478 pieces of eight. Okay. For that, I'll even clean the elephants' behinds. Have I got a helmet? Say, of course I do. Yeah, it wants to, you know, we have to make sure that it passes FDA regulations. They follow everything by the books in this game, so. Summit head cook the head cheese. Okay, so give pot to the Fettuccine Brothers. Aren't you glad you picked that pot up? Now you can have a helmet. And the logic to the games like this is anytime you see any item, pick it up. Whether you think it's important or not, pick it up. Okay, play with the Echo later, Guybrush. Here we go. They said this was safe. They could have given me Whiplash. See, if they weren't paying me for the privilege, I would say that I could easily sue these people. Now notice your text is now upside down. I'm Bobbin, are you my mother, or where's my helmet? I always say, where's my helmet? See? Even they're worried about lawsuits here. Now they're going to argue over who's going to go into the cannon next. God, these flying fettuccine brothers are just like real brothers, aren't they? So now you leave with 478 pieces of eight. With the two that we got earlier, we now have 480. I did say 478, right? Now that we've gotten down onto our first quest, getting money... We'll see you in the next video, and we'll see where we can go from here and what to do with the rest of those pieces of eight on the next episode of Let's Play 